Eventually, three great saint poets came who spread the Bhakti movement in Maharashtra. And they were Gyanadeva, Namdeva and Tukaram. Gyanadeva, belonging to Natha cult, taught against the caste system and ritualism. Gyanadeva, who died at the young age of 21, wrote several literary works. He also wrote a series of short poems called Abhangas in praise of Vitoba, the name given to Krishna in the temple of Pandarpur. Saint Namdeva was a tailor by profession. Namdeva was a devout worshipper of Vitoba in the temple of his village. The priest and the high class looked down upon him for his low caste and turned him out of the temple. It is said once when Namdeva was about to leave the temple, the idol of Vitoba moved and came between him and the door. Saint poet Eknath was a Brahman, but he observed no caste distinctions. He worshipped Vitala, a form of Vishnu. These saints preferred to live with their families like normal human beings and earn their livelihood like common men. Children, a number of other religious groups also emerged during this time. They were Nathpanthis, Siddhas and Yogis who believed that a person could attain salvation only by meditation. They advocated that this is possible only by training the mind and the body through asanas and exercises. Children, the followers of Islam believe that there is only one God. They do not believe in the idol worship. Sufism is a Muslim movement whose followers seek to find divine truth and love through direct encounters with God. Sufism arose from within Islam in the 8th to 9th centuries. The movement may have been given the name Sufism because of the wool garments the Sufi saints wore as a mark of their rejection of worldly things. Sufi saints lived a life of poverty and celibacy. They wrote and recited poetry and hymns. Some of the most famous and beautiful literature of the Islamic world has been written by Sufis. In medieval times, Sufis were also known as Darveshis and Fakirs, which means poor brother. Sufis seek the truth of divine love and knowledge through direct personal experience with God. Sufi saints were respected as teachers with divine connections to God. They provided guidance and spiritual help for followers and a source of inspiration. Sufi saints were known to perform miracles, break the laws of nature and cure illnesses. The graves of Sufi saints are known as dargahs and regarded as pilgrim places. Sufism was a liberal reform movement within Islam. It originated in Persia and spread into India in the 11th century. The first Sufi saint, Sheikh Ismail of Lahore, started preaching his ideas. The most famous of the Sufi saints of India was Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti, who settled in Ajmer. He had a number of disciples who are called Sufis of the Chishti order. His Darga in Ajmer Sharif is one of the most visited pilgrimage places in India. Yet another famous Sufi saint was Nizamuddin Aulia, who also belonged to the Chishti order. These Sufi saints are respected even today by not only Muslims but by a large number of Hindus. Sufis believed service to humanity was equal to the service to God. While the Orthodox believe in blindly following the rituals, the Sufis considered love and devotion as the only ways of attaining salvation. According to them, one must have the guidance of a peer or guru, without which spiritual development is impossible. Sufis inculcated a spirit of tolerance among their followers. They emphasized on meditation, good actions, repentance for sins, performance of prayers and pilgrimages, fasting and charity. <laughs> 